Little 19 and Mallard just dropped in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 1996 blast from the past, and it ain't perfect, but it's good enough. I don't think I'm gonna call the handyman special. She's old, but she's not dead. If you're just looking for something really, really cheap for some really basic use, well, this one might work. This is, you know, this would make a really sharp little hunting camp kind of thing, I think. And this is some classic stuff right here. Those old uh, convertible overhead cabinets that flip down into a bonus overhead bunk. The dinette flips down into storage here. And this is shockingly similar to something that my family camped in when I was about knee high to a grasshopper. This thing takes me back right here. But most of the time, I think this is how she's going to look. Um, like I said when we started, she ain't flawless, but she ain't dead. I've, I've seen a lot worse. Uh, the flooring here has definitely seen some use. There is some cold cracking in several areas around here. That's, you know, pretty much to be expected on something of this age that was Midwestern owned. But what I do like is that I can see where the previous owners didn't just let it curl and get stepped on and chipped off over time. They taped it back down. Is that fancy? No. Is it effective? Yeah. And on a budget class camper, I think effective is really the most you should be kind of gunning for. I don't know if this is where you're going to be looking for fancy. So the uh, overhead cabinet here, it's partially occupied during the day by the uh, bunk cushions. You know, if you fill, fold that down into a bed. So one of the things you can do is you can take those bunk cushions and you can just toss them back here on what is, I guess, the master bed during the day um, to kind of make sure that that remains functional cabinet space. But the thing is, I think you're going to want to know how you're going to use that thing before you go camping. I think you're going to want to know if you need it for sleeping or if you don't. Because the last thing you want to do is load and unload an entire cabinet every single morning and evening and whatever. Uh, up here around the front dining, we've got, uh, you know, the cross breeze side windows and that big front viewing windshield there and window. And that front window does open for airflow. There is storage below the dinette benches. We already saw how that can flip down. And there's a neat little storage chest over here. Once again, just a classic flip top chest style storage here. That That's, man, this is classic. <laughs> um, holy crap, that's the original microwave. It just kind of occurred to me. It looks like everything in here is original. Now understand, guys, this is a 1996. Uh... Even if something works right now, I can't make a promise for you that it's going to work tomorrow. These campers are rolling earthquakes. Uh, we are not asking top dollar for this thing by any stretch of the imagination. If you want to see if we do have it in stock and what we are asking, I leave a link in the video description where you can check that for yourself anytime. Uh, but what we can do, you know, on a camper like this, the, how, how do you feel confident in what you're buying if I won't make any promises for it? Well, what we do, give us a call. First, we'll make sure we have it here and available for you. Nice closet right there. That could be pantry space, too. Second, we will pull it up to the building. We'll get it plugged in, and we'll let you see what works, what doesn't. Because I don't want to make any promises for something of this age. It's just, you know, not a good practice. Um, you know, before the day and age of 40-inch flat screens and entry-level campers, this is what you'd have. A little shelf with maybe a TV hookup nearby. I look at that and I say, well, that's a perfect little spot to plug in a little USB charger device and go to town from there. Uh, you know, six cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer, pretty common stock for what you might find today. And this looks like, I mean, it's a mattress that's still in a bag, which kind of implies that this was placed in here not too long ago. It is possible that somebody had the mattress and they just put a bedspread on top of it and they just, in a sense, used the original bag that the mattress came in as something of a mattress protector. I don't have confirmation of that. I'm just saying it's possible. Now, at a glance, this camper, everything looks in shockingly good shape. I've got a pretty good eye for things to look for, and I noticed just the slightest little waver up here. Let me get in a little closer. So there, there has been some water damage to this ceiling panel back here. It looks like it was really minor because there's no discoloration or any staining or anything like that. So I'm going to guess at some point someone had a roof seam failure. They jumped on it and addressed it right away. But 
they never replace the ceiling panels because again it's a budget camper as long as it works i think that's the main goal that a lot of people are going to have for your bedroom privacy you do have this sliding accordion door right here and you have an open split bath what that means is that you have your vanity and you have your uh sink out here but it does have a dedicated bathroom sink that way you don't have to wash your bathroom hands in the kitchen um and the bathroom area here terribly simple but it gets the job done i mean <laughs> what more do you need to do in here i guess now the exterior is obviously seen some weather and seen some days and being a 1996 i'm sure you can expect that the uh front you know windshield here seems like it's done well the weather shield has done a good job of protecting the front window as it were she has definitely been towed there are a couple pock marks on the front from a uh you know a truck or whatever was towing this in its lifetime chucking a couple stones back at her but overall she seems to have held up pretty fine uh these are tilt open windows too that's called a jowlacy window so it'll tilt open to give you some better airflow and i th i don't think this has a water heater i think that's where a water heater would have gone because that would be right under the kitchen because that's the kitchen window right there so i do believe this camper has no water heater there i'm glad we discovered that together I haven't looked at the date on the tires, but in terms of just visible condition, the tires look pretty good. These are definitely not the original tires. I also don't think it's the original uh, fabric on the awning. Little marker light cap got cracked there, but the light itself seems to be okay. That's just a lens cover. Um, you know, I've, I've, like I said, I've seen worse. It's not. It's not perfect. Uh, I never mentioned that it was, but we've got a little receiver hitch bolted onto the rear bumper back here. Notice there's a vent cover above the bathroom vent to give you some airflow. And something of this age, this RV's definitely been stored outside. You can tell the decals on the door will degrade quicker than the decals on the metal. Fleetwood actually used to, I mean, man, the fact that this is even still here in this kind of condition is frankly pretty impressive. But Fleetwood used to coat their aluminum skin with a special coating. You could literally just like take your keys and just grind them on this and it wouldn't scratch anything up and that's why these color bands have held up so well whereas this decal has weathered a little bit over time i mean it's easy to look at it and judge it as it is but when you realize this thing's like it's practically an antique it's, it's not too bad really i don't know you're looking for something inexpensive you want to you want to try camping with something very very basic and expensive simple this might be a very low dollar way to just try some basic camping maybe you know even for just a year then swap out of it the cool thing is this thing's old enough i i mean you're not going to get your 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 state taxes back or your license plate but that's a very low price to pay for uh experience into the rv industry before you go shopping one of the brand new ones that we might have out here which we have hundreds and in you know well over a thousand over the course of a year so Hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We do it all at Halet RV. New, obviously used, obviously we take trades. Um, I don't know what financing could be arranged on a little thing like this, but it will be so low budget. I bet you could, uh, you could take this thing home with less than your tax return and still have plenty to keep in the bank. So give us a ring, guys, and we'll get you camping. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.